and welcome to our special tournament edition of Friday Night Sports Extra. It's summer. Rick and Dennis keeping it real for 14 years. Yeah, I guess I have to put this on. I'm the Keith Oso, yeah. Allison Leap. Celebrating 30 years of coverage. This is Friday Night Sports Extra, presented by Zbart. 30 years of Friday Night Sports Extra. These two weren't alive yet. I was pretty young. I barely even remember those years back when Rick and Dennis and Bud started this whole thing 30 years ago. And two newcomers, welcome to the club. You're now part of Friday Night Sports Extra. Was there a certain guy wearing an East Valley jersey in there scoring? Don't worry about it. I was going to say, number 45, look for that <laughs> guy next to me. You'll yeah. see him again. Yeah, sure we will. He scored on the He's play, probably a lot skinnier than this 45. <laughs> a big props to Derek Smith. For Absolutely. That incredible job. Only missing Bud Namick on there. Yeah, That's we the got to get Bud. Bud will be on there before the season's over. These are some old <laughs> videos we had to dig through. So <laughs> we'll get Bud back on the intro. But uh, pretty cool to see the, the past and now the present. We're part of that now. We're part of that group now. Yeah. Feels good. No, no Feels pressure, good. but yeah, there were right. some pretty good people on there. So, except Tom Giles. He wasn't that great. <laughs> so, we didn't know what was going to happen this week with the GSL, with the Spokane schools. Are they going to play football or aren't they? Well, luckily, the strike was averted. We're going to play football. So, instead of no football at Joe Albee Stadium for the first time since 1979, we had football. So, let's take you out to Joe Albee Stadium. Lewis and Clark taking on Lake City. And the Tigers were up early taking care of that home field advantage. They're looking for more. Jordan Summers, look at this. Russell Wilson style. Escape Keeping the pressure, heaves it deep, and that's going to be complete and all the way down to the three-yard line. That's Leo Haji Haji on the catch. Sets up Cameron Duncan, who takes it in from there, and the Tigers extend their lead. LC is going to be on the move again. Check out this run by Adam Jacobson. Cuts it out to the outside, and this guy is hard to bring down. A little stiff arm right there. Get off me. Two more guys take him down to the three. That would set up another touchdown. Lake City finally getting on the board. Scott Helpser. Dives in from two, but too much. Lake City tonight, or uh, Lewis and Clark tonight, they win it big, 35 to 15. Coeur d'Alene made the trip across the state line out to the Valley. CV playing host, and the Bears were looking to move down the field here. Tanner Sloan, though, oh no, it's a trap. Intercepted right there by Caleb Beggerly. Good return for Coeur d'Alene. The Vikings are in business, and they're looking to capitalize on offense. This offense has not gotten off to the start we expect. Here's Austin Lee, dumps it to Cole Ramsmer. He has nowhere to run, though. There's Bears everywhere flying around on defense they take him down Lee looking for more to watch this pick by Terrell Harrison great hands by the linebacker taking it down that sets up a bear touchdown second quarter Bears looking for more here goes Sloan this time he's looking for Jace Edwards cuts it upfield into the end zone for six CV scores right there as you can see but Coeur d'Alene comes back in the second half great game out in the valley the Vikings win this one 37 to 30. Down on the Palouse both Moscow and Pullman in action but we'll start on the other side of the state line going over to Idaho. We begin with Moscow hosting Clarkston and they were maybe a little too good a host hosting the Bantams early on first quarter. Clarkston already up a score and adding to it. Off play action, A.J. Davis finding Dylan Bleeler in the flat, absorbing the contact there. Bantams up two scores. Then Moscow punting. Uh-oh, that's <laughs> not quite what you want to do there on fourth down and of course, Clarkson would capitalize, and when you got a guy like this, it really helps. Trayvon Allen going up and just mossing the defender, hauls it in. I think that might be a top play nominee, guys. All right, we saw that last play. Let's go back to the well again. It's Allen. This time, though, they bring him down at the 20-yard line, but didn't matter in the end as Clarkson wins this one big, 48-20. to 20. Back across state line, over to Washington, head over to Pullman as they were hosting East Valley Yak, and this one was all Pullman late second half. It's a royalty touchdown. <laughs> Mason Petrino finding Ben Moose for the score. Pullman would lead 28-6 at recess. Second half, more of the same. This time, Petrino gives up the rock. Jake Silly squirts in for six, and Pullman just pouring it on. Later in the third, all right, this is kind of looking like me and Keith playing the new Madden game over at his place. Right. And 
Of course, Petrino finding his boy. This is 5-5, five, five, 150. Sam Druffel, dial up six more. Pullman wins this one, 60 to 16. Well, Lakeland got started last week, as did everybody else in Idaho. West Valley at a disadvantage. They were a week later. They'd get to business tonight. We head out to West Valley now. These two schools taking on the band. Hey, those guys, they're the real heroes. West Valley not being good host, though. Hunter right on the road, out. It's Devin Duke. He slung out of bounds there. That sets up this 31-yard field goal. Chase Howitt, yeah, he's true. The lefty kicker puts it through. West Valley with a big lead in this one. Lakeland, though, they'd get it going. Jared Walker. Just walks in from two yards out, made that one look easy. That cuts into the lead. Eagles looking for more here. Colton Daly to the flat and balls tipped, intercepted by Joshua Brandt. He's headed yeah, the other way, a long ways. It's a pick six. Yeah, see you later on that one. But the Eagles, they were too much in this one. West Valley cruises 45 to 22. If you want to get involved in Friday Night Sports Extra, it's pretty simple. Hashtag FN, excuse me, FNSE, Friday Night Sports Extra. Just sound it out in your head. Hashtag FNSE, and you may see some of your feedback end up on Friday Night Sports Extra like this. Here's what you, you got to do. Send in a tweet, do a little photo, whatever. Here's the tweet we got from Beth Ann. Send it straight to me. So, of course, that's going to make it on Friday Night Sports Extra. That's an awesome picture from Liberty High School. We're going to take another one here is Jason. Look at that photo right there. U High's Griffin Torson with a 50-yard touchdown reception. That was at Sandpoint, one of the best, probably the best stadium in all of the land right there, right on the lake. And we also have one from Jessica here. Team captains taking center field for Liberty versus Colfax. I ran into the people out there at Liberty today. Gorgeous, gorgeous football game. Thank you for your tweets. Thank you for your Facebook post. Remember, hashtag FNSE, and you can see your tweets next week. Okay, so tonight it's just us in here, but next week it won't be because we're going to start with theme night. And if you saw the guys last year, well, I think Oso's already got his Halloween costume planned out, and we're looking forward to bringing that one back once again. Uh, plans affairs. Cheerleaders are going to come join us here in studio. First of many to come. More highlights to come, plus a special story with Jay Smalik and an award maybe you might be winning this year on Friday Night Sports Extra. More after this.